A four-year-old boy has drowned after an inflatable dinghy capsized while trying to reach Greece from Turkey. This was just after 7 a.m. this morning on the Aegean Sea between Turkey and Greece. We lost family that day. Our main aim was to create an awareness and fundraise for the refugees in Greece. This tragedy urged us to take action. Hi, I'm Suleiman and I'm an amateur cyclist. Working together with Advocates for Dignity and Australian Relief Organization, I took the challenge of cycling from Melbourne to Sydney for a charity project. Escorted by my wife and daughter, it took us nine days, 1,038 kilometers to reach the Sydney Opera House. Cycling is not only a sport if you are able to look at it with an eye of wisdom. For me, this ride was more than a physical practice, it was an inner journey of feeling for others. I can easily summarize my experience on the road in just three words hard, dangerous and uncertainties all the way through. I think it's just a glimpse of what the people of no state go through in their lives every single day. During the ride, I tried reflecting on what it feels like to change your life, end up with nothing and having to start from scratch. I guess pain has different forms. The pain that we have from a physical activity is temporary, but the one that's mental has long-term effects. No one should be subject to this, and I believe that nothing in this world is worthier than a single human being's life. There is a lot that you learn on the road about life. The road talks to you in its own language. It has climbs and descends gives you pain and then rewards. For indeed with hardship will be ease, says the Holy Quran, and that's what life is all about, ups and downs. Difficulties are part of our lives and they're easy if we share.